So for question number six, sir, uh, what are the options if the company cannot continue operating at full force? Also, cannot pay separation pay. So in other words, sir, ano pa yung option para sa mga company na hindi makapag-operate na lahat ng, ng empleyado ay full force but at the same time, uh, hindi rin sila makakabayad ng separation pay dahil nga uh, medyo lugi na yung kumpanya. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie. So the first two questions uh, bring us to this question. So kung hindi mo mapilit yung empleyado to, to report back to work dahil, dahil walang means of transportation, hindi mo rin mapilit yung employer mo to provide shuttle services, ano ang option? So these are the options, especially now, uh, last night I heard the news that uh, almost 120 or more companies have already uh, closed shop and uh, the, the past month I also heard the news about 2, two million employees have been replaced, uh, have been uh, lay, laid off. So aside from resorting to the, those drastic uh, measures, ano pa ang possible options? So the dollar come up with the labor advisory providing for uh the alternative work arrangements you know so number one is to transfer the employees to another branch or outlet of the same employer so in short kapag ka mayroong branch na mas malapit yung empleyado sa kanyang tahanan say for example sm uh certain employees employed at sm mega mall as mas malapit ka sa sa smes sa may kainta side pwede siyang he, he can he or she can negotiate with his employer to be transferred to the next location. Again, this is this is a matter of compromise. The the, the employer and the employee have to agree. You no, know? in the it is not something that is being imposed upon one another. Okay, another one if that if that uh, option is not available, another option is the assignment of an employee to a function or position in the same or other branch outlet in the same employer. If the number one refers to the assignment to the nearest branch, no, this number refers to the assignment to a different uh, function. Like say, for example, during this pandemic period, wala masyadong trabaho yung ating mga messengers, no, yung ating mga compliance officers who file, uh, compliance officers who file uh, legal requirements face-to-face -face or manually. Wala sila, thank you. So the employer can re can reassign them to another uh, department, like for example the sales department. They can uh, be busy selling uh, products via online or through other mode of transportation. Pwede rin naman silang uh, going de delivery through. So if the number one option is to transfer to the nearest branch, the number two option naman is another uh, type of transfer which is transferred to a different position or different department so that uh, that way the, the employee can function and can also earn right another the, the third option is the reduction of normal work days per day or per week well ordinarily meron tayo eight hours a day but due to this pandemic we are placed to this uh, uh, kind of positions that we have to adjust both on the part of the employee and on the part of the employer at naiintindihan natin, even our bank, no, right now, uh, they are also operating on limited capacity. And wala rin silang choice because dole. And even the LGUs issued uh, an advisory or a circular directing of uh, government and private corporations to operate on a limited uh, capacity basis. I, I understand 50%. So in that case, makakaroon talaga ng reduction sa normal working hours. And also, that will also bring us to another option, which is job rotation, which is an alternative, an alternatively providing workers with work within the work week or within the month. So, kung limited yung time, limited yung operating hours, limited din yung ating empleyado, especially if there is this mandate from the dole na 50% capacity lang tayo. So, expectedly, yung mga workers natin, some will be scheduled from uh, M on a man MWF schedule or TPHS Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Well, expectedly, ang logical consequence niyan is din ang ang sweldo nila. But uh, again, just like lawyers and the employee. 
Well, kung di available, mabigat on the part of the employer. The number five option is partial closure of establishment, where some units of the establishments are continued while other units are closed. Ah, uh, yun nga, kung especially for big corporations who are operating on uh, on uh, different uh, compartments, different departments. Merong say for example sa hotel, merong portion ng department na hindi operational. Ah, uh, pwede silang pwede ding temporarily close. Again, like pagget na ito sa pandemic ng mga empleyado, but this is one of the options. Meaning to say instead of resort, instead of the employer being compelled to closure of or cessation of their business, pwede itong partial closure or cessation of a particular department. Kasi mas mabigat naman ang impact on the part of the employer side and the, the and even the employees kung buong kumpanya yung magsasara. So instead of instead of the uh, of uh, closure, pwede partial uh, closure or uh, suspension of the business operation of a particular department. And then number six are other feasible work arrangement, considering the specific peculiarities of different businesses of business of business requirements. So these options that were provided by the Dole are just uh, our recommendations on the part of the Dole. If the employer and the employee can come up with other measures or arrangements that work for them, no, uh, they can still come up with uh, such arrangement. Especially, for example, one of my clients told me uh, they are in the business of hotel operations. Sabi nila, hindi nga makapag-report ng empleyado. Some are the, the offices located in Mandaluyo and then some of the employees, employees are are residing in Rizal, in Marikina, Masyadong Malayo. So my advice was for them to provide with a temporary housing site or temporary shelter. Since, uh, uh, since they are in the business of hotel operations, they, they they can afford to to provide that uh, kind of facility. Then another another option aside from that, pedering pedering mag uh, force leave ng empleyado. It's not mentioned there, but that is also acceptable. Kasi sabi nga dun sa dollar circular na ito, labor advisory na ito. This will only be for a limited period of time during this period of pandemic, and as specifically stated, for a limited period of six months lang. So, so, kailangan pa rin mag-iis, no? So, so, yun. So, those are other alternatives. When it comes to reduction of normal working hours, right, there are several uh, flexible work arrangements that uh, were provided, uh, that, that can be adapted, like the compressed work week, the reduction of work days, the rotation of workers, in up for sleep, broken time, and uh, flexi holiday. So these are the options, and again, our viewers and listeners can still check this uh, labor dole labor advisory number seventeen plus twenty twenty, especially particularly section four thereof. Na alagay lahat sila doon. Salamat po, Attorney Gary.